Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and I have this HTC Desire 501 dual sim model with me and we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this one. And quite a few of you have uh, requested me to review this unit so I'm doing it. And uh, I want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for review. And uh, before we proceed, let's talk about the pricing. The price quoted here on the box is 18290 but Faisal Communications quoted me a street price of around 15000 for this phone. And this Desire 501 is a kind of an entry level uh, mid range Android phone. And this is a dual uh, SIM active phone. It sports a 1.15 GHz dual core processor. Uh, it does not specify which variant. Uh, it sports a 4.3 inch screen. Uh, screen resolution is standard uh, 480 by uh, 800. And uh, it has 1 GB of RAM. Striking thing is that. Uh, the rear facing camera is a 8 megapixel shooter with the f2 uh, aperture so it should be good for low light photography so let's quickly look at this htc desire 501 and it says that we get 25 gb of cloud storage for two years courtesy of uh, dropbox again if you're watching this video in some other countries the box might be a lot smaller this is india specific packaging so we get the HTC Desire 501 itself. So let me take that out and uh, let's see what else do we get. Actually, uh, we get the HTC branded USB charger. Uh, this is uh, uh, earphones uh, that we get with this one. And this is just a micro USB to USB cable. Apart from that, we also uh, get this dual SIM pamphlet. Let me zoom in and it shows us how to remove the back cover and insert a micro sim and a micro sd card also and it supports two sim cards because it's a dual sim phone and uh, this is the warranty statement license and safety and regulatory guide so let's keep all these things to the side and look at the interesting thing that is this handset itself obviously the uh, most of the htc phone the build quality initially looks great it's the same case with this one also and uh, we have the 8 megapixel camera and let's see if uh, it has any juice the battery is a 2100 milliampere battery i had already set this up but the battery is a little bit low uh, so i'll just make it quick and it's running the sense ui uh, let's just look at the settings. Let's go to the settings and let's go to about and let's look at the software information and it's running the Android version 4.1.1 that is Jelly Bean. So pretty outdated uh, version of uh, Android that we have with this one and let's uh, go to the display and we have the auto brightness sensor here but let's put it to manual for now and as you can see uh, so auto brightness is there also we have a led notification light on this one and let's look at the actual uh, storage on this one and as you can see internal storage is uh, 8 gb and out of that 8 GB, you get 5.3 GB that is available to you. Uh, we also have a micro SD card slot on this phone. So you can also use that. So that's regarding the storage. Uh, again, that's standard uh, for the phones at this price point. And we also have the HTC uh, Media Link HD with this one. And uh, this is the stock HTC, uh, what do you say? since uh, ui that we get let's see if we get this gesture yes we do get this gesture and as you can see we can access all the five home screens via this one uh, let's look at the app tray this is the app tray and uh, we also have dropbox pre-installed and we also have fm radio so for people who like fm uh, radio that is pre-installed on this phone we have the flashlight let's try that and as you can see that works and we also get this WeChat uh, and uh, tune and radio etc and uh, I notice a little bit of uh, stuttering here again I'll be testing this phone I'll be doing the benchmarks and I'll also uh, try to do a gaming review uh, before I end this what do you say quick unboxing uh, let's look at the camera because that's what it says a lot so it's an 8 megapixel uh, shooter 
and we do get that tap to focus as you can see and actually uh, there is hardly any what do you say shutter lag the moment you press it's taking the shot so that's pretty nice so this photo came out to be pretty good i'll also do an in-depth uh, review uh, with this uh, camera i'll take some sample shots also so that's it for now for this uh, quick uh, unboxing of this HTC Desire 501. I'll be producing a lot more videos on this HTC Desire 501 and I'll also do a full in-depth review for the same. That's it for now. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.